Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a custom block in Articulate Rise. This is a new feature they just released in the summer of 2025. It is September of 2025 right now. And it is very cool. You can add so much more to your course. And actually, I've created a course that's linked below that you can go and take for free. This is just a review link where I've used a ton of custom blocks. So you can just get an idea of what it looks like. So for example, you can see this looks totally different from what you would normally see in Rise. And all of this was built right within Rise. So it's pretty cool because it adds a graphic design interface right there in Rise, where in the past, if you wanted to add, you know, different features like this, you had to go build them somewhere else, download them, come and upload them. And then there was the added burden if there was a color change or if your course was going to be translated. You then had to go and deal with all those graphics elsewhere. That problem has now been solved because the theme color and the translation is now combined in and connected with this graphic design. So let me just show you how to use this. We're gonna go ahead and create a custom block. And you can see you can either start with a blank block or they have all of these very nice templates already built that you can just go in and change the text and change the color and change the graphics, whatever you want to change. So a lot of them are available. I'm gonna go ahead and create a comparison chart. So the block will be added and then to edit it, you just choose the little edit icon. This takes you immediately into the editor. If you've never used a graphic design software before, this might be a little intimidating at first because you're going to see that suddenly you have a whole bunch of options and you may not know what they all do and what it means, but don't be afraid of that. It's very easy to use. You're gonna see that once I'm done here in just a few minutes, you're gonna be like, wow, I can do that. So this back here, this space back here, this is your canvas. And this specifies the portion that will be visible in the rise block. So for example, if you make this very large, that's like adding extra padding. Let me show you. So when you go back here and look at that, you see how there's so much padding because that canvas has been increased. So you can adjust that with the arrows. You can also adjust it here manually with your keyboard. You can also change the background color. So for example, you know, you can make it any color you want. You could choose a theme color. And if you choose a theme color, then when you go and update your theme later, that color will automatically be changed. If you choose a different color, you know, it's not going to be affected when you change the theme color later. And also, if you keep it white, it becomes transparent. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you go back here and you choose a block color, so say you want all that padding area around it to be colored, as long as I've left my canvas white, then all of that space is filled in with that color. Or if I had colored it, so let me just show you what I mean. Let's just say I colored it as that. And then I go back here you can see how now that canvas is colored, so it's not that smooth, nice look. So just keep that in mind. I hope that's not too much information for you. I prefer to just keep it white and let it be seamless. Okay, to change text, you just basically click into the box and you know highlight it and write in what you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the pros and cons of using a custom block. So the pros are, you can change theme your theme color. And your blocks using a theme color will be updated. You get this graphic design software. C 
seamlessly integrated into your rise builder. That's pretty nice. And you can perform translations easily. And here's what I mean. In the past, when you uploaded a graphic that had text into Rise, and then you did a translation process using the XLIF translation or the built-in Articulate Rise translator, it didn't touch the images. You still had to go and you know manually update that image and then upload a new image in the new language. Now, your graphics, any text that's on this graphic as a text box will be translated. So you can build really nice graphics without worrying about the translation. So when you do the translation, it's going to pull that content and translate it too. You don't ever have to pull in a new image. It's very, very nice. Now, the reason it is bad is because um, the custom blocks do not resize on a mobile device. When you use other rise blocks, they have made those so that when someone's using a smaller screen, um, everything kind of gets rearranged so it still looks really nice and the text still remains large and readable. That is not gonna be the case with a custom block, which is, it's the same situation if you were inserting images. It, it, it you know, it's the exact same thing. It just has to shrink it to fit it on there, which means that text might be shrunk very, very small, which makes it inaccessible to people who have poor vision. They can't see the text. They can't read it. So it's not a new problem, really, but it does introduce a problem into Rise that you didn't have before if you were only using Rise blocks. It was something you didn't have to worry about or even think about or even know that it was being done on your behalf. Because most builders, that's something you have to think about and plan for. So now if you're going to use this, you need, do need to think about that. Uh, the suggestion is just to keep your graphics, you know, don't make them really wide. Just keep them um, narrow and then they should resize fine. You shouldn't have a problem. Uh, the other problem is it is a beta feature. What that means is it could change significantly. They could remove things. They can add things. They could remove the whole thing altogether. They could find that it causes problems that are too complex to fix. I seriously doubt that. I seriously doubt it's gonna go away, but it's possible. I have worked in software before that I use a feature that I absolutely love and then one day I log in and it is just gone and it never comes back. That's a problem. You don't wanna go in and build a whole course just using custom blocks just in case. You wanna wait until this is a permanent solution. It's okay to use it here and there, but don't build a whole course on it because if it did go away for some reason, that would be a big problem. The other issue is there are many accessibility issues. Okay, such as mobile resizing, which I already talked about, uh, color contrast checking. So on other rice blocks, all of their templates automatically are adjusted for color contrast, which means people can read them very well, like the text is a good color contrast to the background. And here, since you have more flexibility, you may make errors that you, you know, didn't realize it made it so people couldn't read it very well. Uh, that's a problem. And the focus order, which affects screen readers, which I'm gonna show you that feature here later on. If you don't have to make really accessible courses, this really isn't a problem for you. But if you're someone who has really strict accessibility guidelines, like if you've got to do 508 compliant courses, probably you shouldn't even use custom blocks, honestly. Um, it's just gonna cause a problem with the screen readers, which I'll point out here shortly. Um, so that is why you might not want to. So let's do this as a con. Change this to pros. Gonna adjust this. Don't want too much padding. That's good. Okay, now let me show you a few other things you can add over here. So let's start with templates. So no matter whether you've started with a blank canvas or with a template, you can always change a template. 
or add a template. So when you hover over one of these, you can see you can use the template, which means it's going to replace what's on the screen. Or you can add the template, which means it's going to add it in addition to what is on the screen. You can add shapes. And then of course with shapes, you can use these arrows here to resize them and to move them. And you can recolor them, obviously. Okay, we'll leave that for the pros. Then text, you can add a text box. You can add images, and this is the same image features you can add to any image in Rise. You can generate with AI, you can use a stock image, or you can upload your own. You can generate audio to accompany your slides so the users can press play and have something read to them. You can record your audio and you can upload audio. Same audio features that you have in other Rise blocks. You can upload video. Now, the video does actually have another accessibility issue. I should add that to my cons here. Um, the videos that you will add here do not allow for closed captions. So if someone is deaf and you have a video on here that they're going to play, they have no access to that content because you cannot upload closed captions to accompany it. You could fix that by adding a transcript after the custom block, or you can just use videos as a background. So that is very common in graphic design to have a video playing in the background. You know, it's, it's very transparent where there's just a little bit of motion. Uh, that's how I see this being used here is just as, you know, as a visual thing to look at to make it look pretty. Here are your objects. So this is how you can reorder them. So reordering means um, this is just like layers, like if you were gluing stuff on a page. And let's say I had this star up. Oops. <laughs> Let's say I have this star up here and it's covering the pros, but I wanted the star to be there. I would need to reorder this so it's behind that text. I'd need to you know, get it underneath it. And so you can do that over here by dragging it, but you could also right click and then you have your options here as well. Um, it's under the move feature and you can move the layers here and you also have keyboard shortcuts. And then of course, other, there's other things here that you can do. I'm gonna move that down. So that's how you can reorder them. And then this is the focus order. And this is where there's a problem. So a focus order is when a screen reader arrives on a page, it will read the objects on the page in order. So for example, here it's going to say, header text says prose. Body text says, and it's gonna read all the text background image of a star and it's going to just go through every single object including these outlines so when you are working with screen readers basically you mark all objects that are just there for visual people you mark those as decorative because the the person that's blind does not need to know there's a star on here unless the star contributes some meaning to the learning you don't need them to know there's an outline over here. That does nothing for them to help them to understand. So there is no way to remove these from the focus order at this time. And that is a big problem because it's going to just be a lot of crap a screen reader user has to go through that has no meaning. And that makes a course very confusing. I'm just gonna scoot that over. It wasn't centered. Um, now you can mark all of these things with alt text. So for example, the star, I can go ahead and add altern alternative text like this, um, actually just say green star. Uh, I mean, that that's your only option here to kind of make this a little bit easier for them to understand. Um, yeah, so focus order, that's a problem. Okay. That is done. Let's back out of there. Now, you can also save these custom blocks as templates, which I already did one of those. I'm gonna go ahead to my block templates and I saved this custom block because I wanna reuse this title. I'm gonna edit it. 
and we'll say what are oops want that in all caps what are the pros and cons and I'm going to need to shrink that up so it fits I will drag that in well that's not working oh there we go um, and by the way with the text here you have your standard options up here you can change the fonts you can bold you can center just basically your standard stuff there okay let's exit out of there and then now I have my nice little title and then the rest of this course just kind of goes over with you how to build if you want a little more detail I've included a very wide box so you can see how that looks and how videos look. This is going to tell you about all of the features that you have to choose from. Okay, now let me go and change the theme color just so you can see how that updates. We'll change it from an orange maybe to a blue. Blueberry, that sounds good. Okay, Go back in here and see all of the things that I used the custom color have been updated so that's very nice now you'll notice here that wasn't updated even though that appeared to be a custom color that was actually a graphic that was just that color and let me just select it and I'll show you so when you see when you select this you see that is actually the image color there is no color changing going on here so that one didn't change okay so that's really all there is to know about custom blocks go ahead and take a look at the course just so you can see how it looks using custom blocks and um, yeah, like the video and subscribe to the channel and have a great day.